this is Hope Kaminsky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to DIY stone your posing suit for a bikini competition. It can be very expensive to get someone else to stone your suit and if you're very crafty or you know how to do that kind of stuff yourself, then I would suggest trying it yourself. Uh, you can put even more of your personality into your suit and you can really get creative with the stone patterns that, that you choose. So you're gonna need a couple of things to get started. First, of course, is going to be your posing suit. So my posing suit is from Glam Fit Bikinis and it came plain, so this cup right here, and it's still very shiny. I did add a trim here, so never mind that. But even without the, tr the trim, it does hit the light very nicely. But you can see this side, I've done kind of a sporadic pattern and I did a trim along here, so I really brought the focus into up top. So, but you can tell, I mean, look at that sparkle. That is absolutely lovely. So I do have a very bright light in front of me, so if it's casting a shadow, my apologies. But I really wanted to see, get you guys to see um, the difference in the sparkle that you can create. So, number one, you're gonna need your posing suit. Number two, you're going to need a hot fix gun or wand. So this little guy right here, this is a hot fix wand. Uh, you can get it at Michael's for about 20 bucks if you grab the 50% off coupon from their website. And then it's a little bit more reasonable, obviously, because it is uh, a bit expensive. And you wanna make sure that it does come with different tips. So the stones that I chose to use are five millimeters. So I've got my five millimeter tip on here. And I'll plug that in soon. Then you also want kind of a little place where you can spread out your rhinestones where they won't get lost so that you can make sure that they're flipped up because the gun is going to grab the top part of the rhinestone while it heats up the back and then you put the back to the suit. So you're gonna need something that's heat resistant, heat proof, it's, it's pretty sturdy and it can keep your rhinestones contained. And then obviously you're going to need your stones. So I've got this little package here. Um, I ordered from, let's see, artbeads.com. Uh, it is from the States, and, and that's fine, uh, www.artbeads.com. And the stones are really pretty. For me, because I have a burgundy suit, those stones aren't offered at all places, so I really had to look to see who would have them. And I really like the way they match my suit. I mean, you can barely tell that there is any color difference. Uh, so... I got 450, sorry, 450 five millimeter, yeah, five millimeter hot fix crystals. You can also get the ABs that have kind of that rainbow coating and they hit the light even crazier. I just wanted to see what this did. I might add more stones later, but I essentially want to do this pattern on each cup and then I'm going to do a trim line, a couple trim lines, and then kind of like crystal explosion on the way down for the bottoms on the front and the back. So we're gonna see how far I get with 452, but I digress, we're gonna do it. It's very simple, it does. it is a little bit tedious, so it is gonna take some time. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have enough time far enough away out from your show so that if you are hot fixing your own and you're not sure how many you wanna put on your suit, that you give yourself enough time to order more and apply more if, if need be. So I'm gonna take this off the mannequin and I actually find it's easier if I'm working on a hard surface desktop and I kind of just, you'll see, I'll show you. Don't worry about it, it it's gonna be stress-free. It's, it's really not that difficult, I mean, if you can if you can draw, if you can write your name on a piece of paper, you have the ability to do this. So let's get started. So I've got my workstation set up. I've got my sturdy little heat proof little dish and I've got all my hot fix flat back rhinestones all face up so they're ready to go. I've got my hot fix wand heating up right over here and I've got my suit out. now. I've got to follow the pattern that I did last time, so that's fine, but I find it's easier because my cups are molded to handle them like this. So I'm just gonna follow the pattern. I'm gonna take my hot fix wand. I'm gonna pick up a rhinestone and I'm gonna to count to 20 seconds, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna find my placing. Okay. 
I'm gonna hold it down for five seconds and there it is. So now while the glue is hot, you do have a couple moments to move it around if it's not quite where you want it to be and you would just take the wand to move it around for your placing. So now I'm gonna pick up another one, count 20 seconds. And you can kind of see the glue melting as you're waiting. So it's got kind of this like funky little pattern. You can see it start to melt and bubble a little bit. You want to make sure not to completely drop it vertical because your flat back could fall off. Okay, so see it's it's super easy. It's like pick up and stick. So it's it's super easy. Just gonna move it a little bit. Just remember if you're tracking a stone on your suit, you're gonna leave a trail of glue. So you don't wanna put it too far away from where you want the stone to lie because you don't want a tracer of glue on your suit. So I'm gonna do that a few more times for you. Pick it up, hold it up, count to 20 seconds. 20. And there we go. See? Very nice. I'm not sure if you can see those three that I just laid down, but it's very, very, very simple. So I'm going to keep on following the pattern. I've got a movie queued up, so because this is going to take a little while. And when I'm done, I'll come back and show you. Happy hot fixing! All right, so I've completed one line, and it took me about mm, five to seven minutes, so I just wanted to show you. So now. I've got that third line down and again I'm just matching it to this side so I'm gonna keep going it's gonna take a little while though so um, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing but I mean the application is pretty much the same just find a pattern that you'd like to stick with and you I mean obviously I didn't do like a super crazy amount you can fully encrust these guys but for me I felt like this was really good for me like you know I this is a good starting point if I want to add crystals I can later on uh, but I really like this pattern so yeah so I'll keep going I'll keep blinging out my suit and that's it I mean it's, it's pretty simple it's a very easy DIY you don't have to do anything to the stones um, once they are finished cooling um, obviously you're gonna want to store it uh, your suit in like a case or a little box or a bag and make sure that you fold it nicely so that nothing is really wrapping up against each other. And obviously when you have a posing suit like this, you don't really want to wear it all the time. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll wear it for my progress pictures with my coach. But as far as anything else, you really don't want to be posing in it too much because you're going to there's a chance that your suit could break. There's a chance that the, the hems could come undone on any of the suit. I mean, these are very expensive suits and they're not, I mean, it's not like a bathing suit that you would wear at a pool, right? So you wanna be very careful with it because it is your investment. Obviously, sometimes things happen and that's okay, but you wanna be as careful with your suit as possible. So now um, I've done my top, I'm moving down to my bottoms. And you're gonna, the, the bottoms are gonna be a little bit more difficult. So let me just adjust my camera, sorry. So for the bottoms, you wanna get something that's about as big as your butt. I have the biggest ball that I could find. And you're gonna wanna stretch your bikini bottoms onto that bowl. Now this doesn't fit exactly, but it'll make it easier so that when I go to put the stones on, you're going to want to stretch it over the curve since your butt is curvy and then you're going to place it like that. So hopefully you can see, I'm sorry if this is a bad angle. So subsequently, I don't think I have enough stones for this job, but we're going to see how far we can actually get. So let's see. So I'm going to start at the beginning of my trim, one, two, three, four, five, ba-bam, 
one, 20 seconds. Almost forgot to tell you again, 20 seconds on your wand. So bam, I'm just gonna do a single line in the back and then I might do some scattered. We'll see, like I said, how far we get. And I'm just putting them right up against each other on the trim of the butt. All right. So I'm going to continue on, and again, I'll show you guys when I'm all finished. Um, this one might take a little longer. I do already have the front done. Let me show you. This is the front trim. Okay, so I got like the double line going on. Bloop, bloop. And then I'll do a couple sparkles, I think, down the front. And then I'll show you guys what I just did. So yeah, there's the three we just did. So I'm going to keep on, keep it on along here. I'm not sure if these will quite finish it, but we're going to try and then I'll check in a bit later. I thought I'd show you a bit of a close-up on how I apply these. So I'm going to stretch out the bottoms a little bit. See how that's stretched right there? And we're going to wait until this heats up. And then I'm just going to continue my line. Count for five seconds. And there you go. So I'm going to continue working that line and see how far we Here get. is the finished product. It's very blingy, very nice. Some tips. The wand is very hot. Do not touch the end of this thing. It gets very hot and as well. It's going to, when it heats up the uh, hot fix rhinestones it's going to be they're going to be very hot so be careful when you're touching your suit also if you're working on your suit and you're wanting to move a flat back rhinestone sometimes there can be a trace of glue and if you just take your your hot wand hot fix wand and you just kind of rub it on the glue it can help it disappear into the fabric a little bit but remember it is kind of like using an iron so you don't want to let this sit on the fabric unless there's a stone on it. Also, when you go to put the stone on, don't do one of these. Kind of press them together and make sure that you're not flipping this because they'll fall more. There are a lot of patterns of other suits that you can look up online or you can come up with your own, but I would definitely decide on that before you get started and make sure that you're looking at the placement as you go along. Now with the suit bottoms, when you have it stretched over the bowl, especially when you're working on the back portion where your cheeks will be, you're gonna to wanna to stretch out the fabric um, as you're going so that you make sure that everything's even on both sides. And again, keeping in mind the placement of the stone. So obviously in the front section, you're not gonna to wanna to do like a line straight down the center. I mean, you could, but it would look weird, right? So. Be aware of placement and then as well in the back, uh, you kind of want to go, since your gluteus maximus is curved, you kind of want to go with the curve and then it will kind of accentuate the fullness of your glutes if that's what you're going for, which is what I'm going for. Make sure that you're using the stand for the hot wand because you don't want to burn whatever you're using, your desk or whatever to, that you're putting it on. You don't want to burn it. Also be patient chop it up in little sections if you like. Uh, each cup took me about a half an hour and then the bottoms as well took another half hour. You can definitely add more stones, like I said, than I did, but I think I'm perfectly happy with this. I think it's, you know, last year I didn't have any bling and this year I have a moderate amount of bling. So and then I've also got my earrings to go with and then I've also got my um, bracelet to go with me gonna be so pretty it is very easy you don't have to pay someone to do it if you don't want to you can always do it yourself if you have the time and you want to get the supplies the stones for the 450 count or 452 count that I got it was about 60 bucks plus shipping so in comparison having a stone suit can cost a couple extra hundred dollars and of course you're you're paying mostly for that time that they're spending but it's totally up to you. You can do either way. Both ways are doable, but this was my DIY tutorial video on how to stone your own posing suit. 
Good luck to all of my fellow competitors out there and thank you again for coming by my channel. If you like this video, make sure to do so below, subscribe to my channel for more, and as well, look around at my other videos. I'm so excited. This is such a good color. Oh, it just, just, mwah, perfect. So excited. Thanks again for dropping by. This is Hope Kaminsky signing off. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, put it down below. I'd be happy to answer anything. As well, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, go all around my page, look at other videos, look at my bikini prep vlog series. Thank you so much for coming back and I'll see you later. Do you see those striations happening right here? That is a beautiful thing. Oh, bam, bam, bam. <laughs>